They really yeah. made an impact in the, in the yeah. music. I mean, Sneaky Pete's legacy is as long as your arm. I mean, I remember on that bus trip, because for me, the first gig I played with these guys was the last gig that Sneaky did with it. So it was kind of a, a, a really special moment for me to be on stage with Sneaky after being so influenced by Flying Burrito Brothers in my life and my career. Because after hearing Flying Burrito Brothers, that's when I turned and said, oh, I can do country rock. And so I was moving into that direction and I, and I wrote this song. Well, actually, I'd been sitting around. I was in Washington, D.C. and. Uh, this guy named Ray Benson, who is the lead guitar player for uh, Sleep at the Wheel. Oh, He's a, yeah. you know, six foot nine, six foot and his nine hands are as voice. long as the guitar neck. It looks like a twig <laughs> in his hand. And he was showing me some country licks on the guitar as I was trying to become country Walt. And when he country left Walt? after, yeah. <laughs> country Walt. I love that. <laughs> this I have to hear. You have to play me something. <laughs> uh, it was just, why not? That was the lick he showed me, but. Anyway, to finish that off is when he left, I started to write the song that uh, became my first really big cut, which is called Hearts on Fire that, uh, oh. that uh, Graham and Emmy did, because Emmy was playing in the same circuit in Washington, D.C. as I was, and she was a good friend of ours. Are we on soon or what? Should, should, we, should we, yeah. Yeah, I want to hear I mean, some. Should we, we need to, we, we do have one song uh, that uh, we probably need to rehearse. It's the, uh, the Richard Bell song. Right, right. Uh, uh, out of the wilderness, it's like yeah, got that high note. <clears throat> yeah, I might have to whisper here we go. that high note here. Yeah. Is, is my hair okay? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
private. Ooh. I have my own private concert. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, there you go. Hey, it's going to be a shame that Sneaky's not on stage with you tonight. It is. It's a, it's a real shame. You know, this Disciples of the Truth actually uh, you know, might be the last record he worked on. He's, uh, oh, thank you. He seems to uh, be coming to the end of the line. You know, it's tough to talk about. I can imagine so. I, I guess being the veterans you are and being in, in the business as long as you have, I, I, you've seen a lot of great musicians come and go, and so much has changed. And have you changed? I mean, what was it like when you were 20 and you were touring and performing? Do you still have that passion now? Oh. I definitely do. I look forward to every night we uh, get a chance to get together and play music. I mean, that's that's uh, what I do. I, 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 I'm not an accountant, and I, <laughs> I, I, uh, you count on I don't, I don't preach or anything like that. No. I, I love to play my music. And Fine way to make songs. a living. No, yeah. it's a great way. Uh, well, that's it. I think as you get older, you appreciate it even more. You know, because when you're young, you're doing that, and it's like, oh, this is gonna last forever. And as you get older and you see friends, you know, drop off along the way, it becomes really harder. And then you cherish the moments that you have on stage and the chance that yeah. you get to uh, to relive that. Because right. the energy's still there. And I think Sneaky would want us to keep playing. I know that's that that's what he's all was all about. And oh, he's yeah. he gave us so many influences. Uh, Mike Daly, who's career. taking his place tonight on stage, is exactly. a superb player. So and on the and, and by the way, on the album, just so you know, I mean, we used. A lot of great steel players: Cindy Cash, Dollar, Al Perkins, Dan Dugmore. So uh, you know the album is full of great steel, isn't it, Walt? It is. <laughs> it's great. So the, the steel goes steel. on. <laughs> the album is a steel, right? Yes, indeed. Well, I guess and we're has, the magnet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that has a lot to do with, I mean, just transitions being in the business this long. You know, when you're out there, I mean, a show is a show, and. and you could be playing a little club down the block here, you could be playing a 10,000 seater, but you do give, you know, you give your all and you're having a great time out there doing it. That's the great thing for us is that right. we're doing what we love to do and we're getting the chance to, uh, to do it. And that's what it's all about. It is. Exactly. I don't think a lot of people know a few things about you that I happen to know about you. Like, for example, you maintain a career on two continents. You live in Paris half the well, year. Well, yeah, actually, uh, I've been living in Paris for about 15 years now. I, uh, I got a chance to produce some music for Disney over there when they opened up their theme park. And uh, I don't know, I, I, my, I met my wife uh, in Europe and she lived in different countries, you know, for a lot of her life. And so for us, it was just easy to adapt living the European lifestyle. And uh, even though I come back to the States a lot, you know, I, I enjoy uh, like you said, having a, a, a solo career there as well as uh, the burritos. We play in Europe quite a bit ourselves. That probably keeps it very fresh for you too. Oh yeah. I remember having a conversation with you once and you were telling me about your daughter. You were in the grocery store mm -hmm. and one of your songs played on That's the right, Magnet system. Steel is in uh, full rotation at Kroger. <laughs> <laughs> you hear it in the cold cut That's department. Great. Yeah, it, it's uh, it's surrealistic to walk down an aisle at Kroger. I mean, it's great when Daphne's there because then we can share it. But if I'm there alone and it comes on the music, it's just strange. You're walking past people that you don't know <laughs> singing along to your song, and you want to go, "Hey, you know, I that. it was me," you know. So uh, it's a surrealistic life I lead. Well, maybe you can sort of elaborate. I mean, Megan Steele was quite the song. Well, it is. It's one of those songs. It's in Boogie Nights. It's in Deuce Bigelow. Uh, it's, it was written into the script of a movie called Overnight Delivery. It, they mention it in the script. It's like their song. And so it's, yeah, it's a thread in the fabric of our culture. Right. It's a great thing. It's a great feeling. And it's, uh, but it's surrealistic. It, it's, my grandmother and my mother used to do the New York Times crossword puzzles. And now I've become a four-letter word. I'm, a, I'm an answer <laughs> in the New York Times crossword puzzles and people and TV guide. I mean, whoever thinks of something like that. You can't, and I, you know, that's I'm coming always, full circle. Even when you're dreaming, you know, it's like, you know, I never dreamt of that. And I always miss the 49 answer. 49 across. Every time I'm doing yeah. that crossword, I miss it. I said, how do you spell it? That you Walter know? guy? Yeah, what's his name again? <laughs> Who is that? So, yeah, I mean, and it's, it's great, though. It's great for me yeah. because I was such a Graham Parsons fan, and he did my song, Hearts on Fire, mm -hmm. and now 
to get to be able to be in this band with Carlton, a band called Burrito, is just a wonderful thing for me. It's, you know, can't get any better. Anything else I should know about you guys? No. I told you anymore, my wife might get upset. Ah, so. yes, the secret Carlton. Uh, so what it's like between the two of you guys? I mean, you have a great chemistry together. Well, you know, Walter is such a great songwriter, uh, but he's also a, a great guitar player. He's got, he plays different than, than most any other guitar player I've ever worked with. And that's, I mean, that is a compliment oh, to him. Yeah. Uh, that comes but, from teaching yourself how to play. But I don't know, we just, we just uh, even though we haven't uh, been singing together that long, I think we have a lot of the same influences. I mean, like he, you know, he, he knows a lot of old bluegrass type songs, mm -hmm. which I was raised on, and yeah. you know, and, and I even know how to sing the harmony to Magnet and Steel. So, yeah. Uh, I think it shows in your work, and it's going to show in your concert tonight. Yeah, I definitely. So. Can't wait to get up there on stage. Me either. It's about time, isn't it? I think it is. I guess right. I better let you go. Okay. GG, it's been Thank great. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your time. All right. Well, thank you. Have a great show tonight. All right.